Welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I am your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. March 1st is the first day of Women History Month. And to the occasion, I thought I would create a little wine video on the women in wine. And of course, since the early days of winemaking, which was completely a male-dominated industry, the wine industry has made progress and women in the wine industry have become an essential factor of uh, today's ingenuity and success in winemaking. There are so many now all over the world in top spots at wineries or as sommeliers as owners, as um, winemakers, that in my discussion I focus on the Americas, particularly the US, and again, as often in my videos, I focus on California. So a couple of important facts. Um, about 10 to 20% of the winemakers in California today are women. Master sommeliers, 28 out of the 172 master sommeliers with the accreditations are women. Winery owners, we have in California only 4% of the 3,700 or wineries that are owned by women. Now I'm not so sure about that fact because I know a lot of uh, couples that went into the family business of winemaking and they may have registered that winery uh, just under uh, the husband's name but in reality they are both jointly working the vineyard so on that score with four percent of only wineries owned by women I'm not so sure in total in the United States it said that it's about 500 wineries that are owned by women however over 50% of the graduating class from the number one wine school in America, UC Davis, in the oncology program are women, and even in Bordeaux in France, from the Bordeaux University, 45% of the graduates of their wine study program are women. When you come to purchasers of wine, I read a statistics that today, 59% of all the wine is actually purchased by women. So it's a pretty significant inequality between who buys the wine, who makes the wine, and who owns the winery. So I will uh, list to you in the later part of this video a couple of noteworthy superstars in the uh, winemaking industry that are women. But I want to start with one, and this one woman is um, associated with this fantastic um, vineyard. It's uh, the Jameson Ranch Vineyards in Napa Valley, and they have multiple labels. This is called the Double Lariat, after the history with horses on that ranch and uh, lassoing in these horses, that's what the name comes from. But the Double Lariat, this is the Double Lariat 2016, which is uh, an outstanding wine, so I hear. This is the very first time I'm actually live tasting this wine. Uh, the binary is around since about 2011. And uh, the other labels of the uh, vineyards are the Riata and the Whiplash and the Light Horse. Now this is the Double Lariat. And it's made by the superstar winemaker of Jameson Ranch, Linda Trada. Now, Linda is a winemaker that has made wine in four continents, in North America, in South America, in Europe, and in Africa. And she has a legendary history right before uh, Jameson Ranch. She was at Swiftwater Cellars in Washington State and before that she was for many many years at the Sonoma 
Vinyard uh, Gundlach Bunchu is a director of winemaking. And of course, she too comes from the UC Davis Enology program. Let's open this baby up and talk a little bit about double lariat. All right, double lariat. I have my decanter right here, a nice Riedel product from Maximilian Riedel, the Austrian crystal maker that gives the wine an extra chance to breathe. And a wine out of the best crystal always tastes a little bit better. All right, here we go. Let's pour a little bit in this beautiful crystal glass. And see what we got. The color is very dark. I'd say no longer see-through. It's a dark, ruby, red, beautiful color. Some fine, beautiful lines in the glass indicating good alcohol content. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Uh, dark black cherries, some uh, violet berries. Very good, not overpowering but lovely aromas coming out of this wine. Let's give it a whirl. Very fruity, pleasantly very fruity, berry fruit in the mouth. A velvet feeling all over the mouth. Some slight but good tannins. A long layered lingering finish very elegant, very powerful, good tannins, indicating this wine would probably best in two, three years. So I would put it away, but 16 already, very, very drinkable. Now the story about the double lariat that Linda describes is that she's picking wine from various vineyards in Napa and mixing them together to create a beautiful wine that represents what a Cabernet from Napa Valley should taste like. So it's not a single vineyard vine, it's a vineyard hand selected by Linda and put together. Complex, layered, beautiful. So I give this wine a 4.5 on Vivino. The average Vivino score is 4.2. The bottle sells for $35. Clear by recommendation from me. In fact, I would say stack away as many of the 2016 as you can get. In recognition of women in wine, let me just read to you a list of other famous winemakers that are women in uh, the uh, American wine industry. And in no particular order, but I'm starting with uh, Geneva uh, Johnson, the winemaker from the legendary Mondavi Vineyard. Stephanie Jacobs, the legendary winemaker from the Cake Bread Vineyard. She too is obviously from the UC Davis uh, as a graduate. Kelly Koch here on Long Island. She is uh, the winemaker at the Makari Vineyard on Long Island. Originally, she comes of course from St. Helena in Napa and she too is a graduate of UC Davis. She worked prior to uh, coming to Long Island at the Beringer Vineyard and in France at uh, Mason Louis Jadot. Vanessa Wong is a Chinese immigrant to America or children, child of a Chinese immigrant family. She grew up mostly in San Francisco, so close uh, to the top-notch wine regions over there. She started PA Vineyard in 2001 and is the owner and the winemaker of that vineyard. Uh, she has previously worked at Lafitte Rothschild as well as some of the Burgundy vineyards in her career. Eileen Crane is um, a sparkling wine enthusiast from uh, Domaine uh, Caneros, the winemaker. Michelle Quillette is the um, mother-daughter winemaker together with Velinda Carney at Lorenza uh, Vineyards. Kathy Carrison is the uh, 
owner and winemaker of Kerrison Vineyard, which is a Cabernet specialist. Uh, Karif Overstreet is the uh, winemaker of the vineyard uh, Bourlian, named after her three children. And Margot Staffaren is the legendary winemaker of Chateau saint Jean, and she is uh, certainly famous for doing substantial amount of blending and uh, very, very capable in getting the blended wine right. Kathleen Hall, everybody has heard of from Hall Wines, uh, owner and um, winemaker. Stacy Clark at Charles Krug, one of the Champagne wineries, is the winemaker over there. Sally Johnson, the winemaker at Legendary Pride Vineyards, and uh, Gina Gallo from the same vineyard, the Gallo Vineyards, is the winemaker over there. That's, of course, just a small selection of the many, many capable winemakers, vineyard owners, and master sommeliers that we have in America that are female. With that, ladies and gentlemen, and a clear by recommendation of the double lariat, I remain until next Sunday. Please watch my video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like it, and follow me on Vivino. I'm a heavy wine rater on Vivino, and this wine will be rated on Vivino tonight. Cheers.